Welcome back. Today I have something. What do I have? I don't know what the hell I have. I have a couple of new things. I got a new lens for the camera. Uh, it should help with close up. You see, we should be able to get in pretty close, see some pretty good detail on stuff. And I got a new mic. Uh, hopefully that helps with sound and blocks out some of the background noise. And you can hear me better. Just doing a short video today. Just to test out and see how this new mic and lens is going to work. Um, I already did the build for this. This is, or these are... There's a few. Our pedals, pedal extensions for a vehicle. Uh, this is for for a guy that's mm, shorter, I guess you would say. Um, the pedals that are available. for these people are not very great. Uh, I, I rode with him a couple of times with his store-bought pedals that he was able to find or wherever he got them from. And what they do is the pedal actually clamp, the pedal extension actually clamps right to the pedal of the car. Uh, the brake pedal, clutch, gas, it clamps right to it and if you know the motion of a pedal in a car and you guys all drive vehicles you know that the it travels in an arc um so let's say this is your pedal in a vehicle brake pedal clutch what have you the pivot point would be up here you would push on it and it travels down and you see it travels in an arc. It's not a straight in motion. It arcs. Pivots. Yeah. The pedals that are available, like I said, clamp on the pedal extensions that are available, clamp on to the pedal itself. So say this was your extension. You'd clamp it on the pedal. And you see, like, as you would push that, and it pivots around on the pedal arm, out here, you're not pushing in and out. It is actually going in a up and down motion. So when you're pushing on the pedal, you're actually pushing down on it instead of pushing in on the pedal. You see... It's not, it just, it just doesn't work very well. It's not a grid, not a good system. It's, it's easy for the manufacturer because then the pedal extensions can be clamped onto any pedal in any vehicle. And they fit everything. It's a, just a generic pedal. Um, so I saw this, and this guy, he likes to have fun with his vehicles. He likes to race his cars, autocrosses. He likes doing drifting events. Um, he likes to just have fun with his cars, trucks, whatever he has in general. And I said to him, I said, let me try to design a pedal system for you. Gives you a better motion and... And will help you with your driving uh, and, and also be safer. One of the big things, too, was being safe. Uh, with the clamp on pedals, they're always twisting. You're pushing down on them. It's just they're not entirely safe. They're not. If there's a. If you have to panic stop and you have to push down on that pedal and push hard to get a vehicle to stop. There's a very good chance that it'll either bend, pop off of the pedal. It just, 
isn't a good a good design at all. So I told him, I said, let me build a, pet, a set of pedals for you and let me see if I can get a truer pedal motion for you so it'll help you enjoy your vehicles more, enjoy driving more, and be safer overall. I've made, uh, I don't even know, five different pedal sets for him now. And the design I came up with was similar to this. We didn't stray far from what I initially designed for him. It clamps on the pedal down below, but then I designed the pivot further up closer to where he would be sitting. So then the pedal, when you push it in, isn't traveling in the arc of the factory pedal. It actually is just pushing straight in. So you're actually getting a better motion. Um, this is something I've been wanting to try for a while. The very first couple of sets were pretty crude. It was <laughs> a rod inside of a tube. Um, just a stud welded on the end with a nut that went through the pedal. And yes, very crude. Uh, this has been something I've been wanting to try for a while. These are linear bearings. Um, very, very smooth. They're latched on very well so the pedal can't twist or turn. And I feel they should be good for a good, good long time for them. Uh, these are actually, if you look down inside here, I don't know, can you see that? Look down inside here, you can see there are seals on these linear bearings. These are coolant proof, well, there's still pockets for bolts, but these are coolant proof linear bearings. These are made for machines, and these are a bit big. Uh, ordering these, I honestly didn't have much idea of what to expect as far as sizing. Uh, they use some weird dimensions. Um, I don't know if they meant width of the bearing itself. It's, it's hard to judge off of just pictures, diagrams on the internet. So they came in, and like I said, these are a bit bigger than what I was hoping for. His next set later on, if he does it again, I would go a bit smaller with these. They don't need to be so big and so heavy and robust. Um... But these will work. Uh, they have a grease cert, so we can grease them internally. That should be easy for them. And should work out pretty well. Um, yes, uh, I skipped the whole building part for you guys. Sorry, this was started a while ago, and I was working on it off and on in between other jobs. But, like I said, you're here now. We're going to go through the installation of this, as well as lubricating it, adjusting stuff, and setting it up. He'll be picking it up this afternoon. It is 12 o'clock now, so we don't have much time. Um, let's get on it. Okay. You guys set. First one we're going to start with here is the gas pedal. Uh, you can see I already have the rod attached to the pedal. This would be up here and it will be pushing down. I have these little ball end links on here. Threaded rod. So it is adjustable some. And I think you can see... Maybe not... I have the bracket for it up here, just underneath the dash. So we're going to be sticking, just using a little bit of grease. The gas pedal is just going to pivot on a bolt and a bushing. That should be good. You see the gas pedal, I have a bushing inside of there. Got a 
go up in this bracket. Right there. You see that pivots. Let me get the nut on here. To squeeze. I want that to right there. And then this rod just goes into the side of that pedal, and you can see the motion. Fairly similar to the stock gas pedal. Um, it's kind of straight up and down. I'm gonna adjust this up just a little bit. Reverse threads on these. That looks good. I like that. This pedal is parallel with the stock pedal. It travels in a pretty much the same arc, same plane. I think that'll be good there. Trying to get this nut in here is going to suck. I got an idea. You guys. There. Up inside. funny whenever you're watching somebody on YouTube assemble something and it looks like they're doing it all awkward and weird and you're like what the hell are you doing just put it together and I can see ah, because the camera is in the way And it's about 23 degrees out right now in the shop. There we go. All right. That's pretty solid. I like that. Next pedal. I'm going to do the brake pedal. Um, see if I can show you guys. I already built a bracket up in here. It's black, so it's hard to see. Welded upper bracket. It goes up and bolts to the factory steering column bolts. Uh, I just put longer bolts in. It's a good solid mount for it. I don't know if I can get underneath here. And then those bearing blocks will pivot on this rod here. You see I threaded it on both sides. So I can put a nylon lock nut 
on and adjust it up until I'm satisfied with the fit. Let's get the brake and put that in. Right. Same thing. A little bit of grease on the pivot. Oh shit. I should have put this in first. I'll pull this one off. Easier to get through. I had to pull that gas pedal rod off to get this brake pedal bearing block on that shaft because it was annoying. Down here on the brake, I have a hind joint. It goes through a little tab I made up on the plasma cutter. Just a bolt through there. Everything on these pedals gets locking nuts. Another nylon locking nut here. Locking nut on this rod, the bearing block pivots on. I should probably get a, yeah, I'm gonna get a ratcheting wrench for that. Same thing, I want this. Just that it's butted up, I don't want it pinching on that bearing. That should be good. All right, next one is the clutch pedal. Go. Same thing, a little bit of Red grease up on the shaft up here. There isn't much movement on this pivot up here, so this one time greasing should be good for a long, long time. through the panel. Nylon locking nut. Uh, 
There we go. Locking nut on the pivot shaft. Boy, it's hard working with the camera in front of you. Same thing, we just wanted to take the slop out. We don't want it pinching that bearing. We don't want it tight, we just want it to... There's an awful little bit. There we go. There. Pedals are in. Just have to grease them up and put some grease in these grease circuits. Hope these work. I didn't even try these before I put these in. I don't know how much you should put in these either. But just a couple of pumps in for now. Well, that's stuck on there really good. Whoa. This one's losing all over. I can't believe how tight those are. Sorry, I moved you guys all over the place. There we go. No. Let me show you guys this pedal. You can see is all bent up. Because to get this vehicle over here, he was using those pedals that clamp on. You can see this pedal was getting bent. And that clamp on pedal was already falling off and having problems just from driving this vehicle over to my shop. So here are the pedal extensions. You can see pushing these in is much more true to a pedal movement than what, uh, what they are after clamped on to the pedal themselves. The first time he picked up a car with the pedals, he was amazed and very, very happy with how these feel and act. And he's been able to enjoy his vehicles a lot more because of it. Gas pedal, brake. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching.